Well, that won't work. It wiggles too much. Oh, right. See, that's again. You know what to do. I didn't even think of that for a it's second. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> Pedal apart. Shouldn't be a problem that's with the right tool. Um, okay. Now we need chrome ale. There you are. A 5 8 inch screw steel sprocket, straight oh, bevelled, hard chrome plated, <laughs> BSA threaded, flat with right hand to thread and locking. Lock hmm, maybe that cog wasn't all that important. Fly. Oh. I kind of maybe feel bad for important. the fish. Eh. Bet you're a douchebag. So we're needing something highly explosive. So it gives He's... mother's experiment. He said dwarf ale, so I assume oh, ask right. the dwarf how you make yeah. dwarf ale. Or just. Why do we have water in the damn jug? Now I feel like we need ale in this. M yeah, but maybe we need water to make ale. Well, we do, but. Still. Hello, Master Brewer, sir! Hi, hi, Wilbur! Uh, Don't ask him the first one. Okay. Take forever. <laughs> dwarven yeah. ale. Um, Mr. Master Brewer, assuming I were to need some dwarven ale. Dwarven ale? <laughs> it's not allowed, unfortunately. Why not? Have you heard about the explosion on Mount Winter Peak? The volcanic eruption. Ha 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 ha! Volcanic eruption! Deep under that mountain was the finest ale brewery in the whole dwarven world. My dad took me there when I was nothing but two beer crates tall. Can you imagine <laughs> how ailed up we were? Uh, kind of. What happened? Ah, well, some so-and-so cocked up and boom! <laughs> that was that! All over for dwarven ale brewing. After the accident, it was banned as a substance of enjoyment. The sharp taste, the warmth in the throat, gone forever. Now it's only used in warfare and in the <laughs> alchemy industry. How about we make some then? <laughs> but you do know how to brew dwarven ale, don't you? Does a one-legged duck swim in a circle? Of course I know! I'm the master brewer! It's not difficult either. First, you get barley germinated in a malt house, then let them bloat up after leaving them dormant for a bit. Then kiln dry the green malt, keeping it turned, of course, millet, making sure that the husks don't get destroyed. The husks? What are... Then mash the whole lot in a mash tun, obviously using a decoction procedure. After the iodine test, we get on with purifying and separating the malt from the beer wort in a slatted filter bed. Of course, but... In other words, we let the draft <laughs> run through the mash pot. We then put the first wort in the brewing kettle, let it simmer and add the hops. We let the wort settle to remove the trub crust, add the yeast and then leave to ferment. Then we run everything through the pebble filter. That's all fair enough. Then it gets more complicated. Stop! <laughs> what? We're just getting to the exciting part! I'm sure we were, but I just abandoned the idea of brewing some dwarven ale myself. Well, whatever you think. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I can brew it. Let's assume I need a small tankard of dwarven ale really, really urgently. Could you brew it for me? Uh, could do. Uh, but I'm not going to. It's not allowed. Oh, come on. Who's going to notice? When was the last time another dwarf came by to visit us? Mm, that's a fair time back. You see? Wouldn't you just love a nice cold dwarven ale tonight to celebrate your victory over the robot? Oh, dwarven ale is nectar. And that's we got it. <laughs> enjoy a wee taste of it again. <laughs> no, that's not going to happen. I'm missing a few ingredients. And if I get them, would you brew up two tankards then? One for me and one for yourself? Aye. It's a deal. You <laughs> find me the missing ingredients and I'll brew some dwarven ale. Okay, what do you need? Crystal clear mountain water, hops and some barley for malting. Well, that's... Th that's it? No, no deviled fire, salamander eyes, or dragon's breath, that sort of thing? 
Nope. Possible. Water, hops, and malt. Uh, then there's just a few secret ingredients and uh, naturally synthesized aromatic substances and uh, a couple of E numbers. Uh, but I've already got them here. Okay. Water, hops, and barley. I don't understand. I'll get them. What was that last reference? E numbers? What? Uh, that's all the stuff in food, I think. Where that sh it's not really in the ingredients. It's not an ingredients. It's just weird numbers because it's just right for aroma and stuff like that. Uh, okay. that's the jug. Hmm. Jug. Throw it from the button. Huh. I have a pot of crystal clear water for the dwarven ale. Show me. Hey. That water's very good. We can use this. Okay, second last. Here's some barley from my mum's kitchen. Can it be used for brewing? Mm -hmm. It's not the best, but it'll have to do. Yes. And hops. Second last again. Yeah. Do you have any idea where I can get the hops? Oh, I'm sorry, but that thieving rat took the best part of five sacks. I've not enough left. What? I've got to be careful with it. The rat, huh? Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I have to go. Enjoy the celebration. What happens if you use the arm on the hole? Yeah, yeah. Do I still have the arm? No, it's gone. No. Okay, never mind then. We have to cork we, only for do, the... we only have the super fertilizer. Yeah, and we know what's Which... that's going. The hops, most likely. Yeah. Uh. I don't. Because of the disparity between Danish and English, I don't actually know what hops are. But if anything, they'll be back in the kitchen, right? Yeah, but he said he doesn't have Not much that because kitchen. the red. Mum's kitchen. Oh. But there was nothing else in Mum's kitchen. Oh, poor, poor thingy. And here's nothing else. Well, he said the rat took it. Yeah. Well, we know the rat isn't down there. Can we just stick our hand in the hole? Maybe. Hmm. If the rat has stolen that many hops, it might still have something stored in there. I hope we just get a bunch of shit out There's there. There's something in there. <laughs> something round. Ugh. Hopefully it's not a giant rat dropping. Yeah, I don't mean that literally. It's a single <laughs> hop. This is probably all that's left of the stock of hops. Okay. So we need to go regrow that most likely. Mm, seems that way. If we gave it to him, he'd probably say, nah, we need more. Yeah. Right. Especially why would we have to fertilize it then? Yeah. Okay, I'll plant the hop in the soil. From my bra off, holding. Let's see what happens. I really can't imagine this stuff. Wow. Good fertilizer, that. Drink it. Nah. <laughs> you gotta sit on it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. A huge hot plant with tons of corns. Okay, I'm the way. I picked about ten corns. That should be enough for the dwarven ale. Woo, let's go. All the walking back and forth. Yeah. Not a fan, but it could be worse. Can yeah. you just click him with it? Hello, Master Brewer, sir! Not sure. Hey, I will burn. I've got some hot the music, by the way. Is this enough? Sorry, oops. Yeah. Ho oh, ho! That's enough! I hope you haven't been whipping stuff out of my stock! No? Well, only indirectly. Hmm. <laughs> And that means I've got all I need to brew the lovely dwarven ale. <laughs> right, it's all go now then. Which we skip. Okay. I forgot what I was saying. But, yeah. Music. Right. I don't know Fucking where it's from background. originally. Don't know. Hey, laddie, just watch out that you don't get any of that in your eyes. It's dangerous stuff. I'll be very careful. Thanks very much, sir. Tell me, Wilbur, what do you need all that junk for? 
The dwarf and ale and all the other stuff that you've been dragging out of here the whole evening. Hmm. Well, it's because of the ring. I need it. Grandad's helping me get the ring to the human town safe. Well, quickly. Yeah. Oh, Wilbur, it's dangerous for a young gnome like yourself out there. I know, but I promised that gremlin, and I believe it really could be important. And I'd like to get out of here and achieve something. Taste some adventure, eh? Mm-hmm. You know, I don't think that the ring is all that important. Uh, not everybody's born for Aww. having adventures, my lad. But maybe you really do need to get out of here. Really? Aye, laddie. You still live with your parents. And you keep company with a very interesting, <laughs> intelligent old dwarf. <laughs> but that can't go on forever, can it now? So, if you do leave and go off on an adventure, even if it's just to Seastone, then maybe you'll come back and visit and tell me all about it then, eh? I promise. Don't forget us. You're going to have to excuse me now. I've got an appointment. Now he's going to go cry. Aww. Goodbye, Dad. <laughs> Always going to go party, one of the two. <laughs> you go into the kitchen. He's gone, okay. Oh no, please tell me he didn't jump out of the window. Uh, we'll see. Go back. We'll just get out of here. I really hope he didn't do that. I hope it's some kind of secret cellar. That'd be better. Probably. Always sitting outside drinking the damn beer. <laughs> well, beer might be a bit misuse. <laughs> Considering how it can explode violently, it seems like it's 90% alcohol. Yeah. And down we go. Can you even achieve that? Uh, yes. I believe there are something higher than that as well. Mm. It's possible. Well, and the information's um, so weird. Excuse me, oh, Colonel Grandad. There it was. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stand over here to talk. Yes, report back. Yeah. Uh, here's the, here's the dwarven ale, Grandad. Oh my goodness, we must be careful with this. That means we are only missing the cog. Dismissed. Fuck off, we have it. Here's the cog, Grandad. <laughs> Got your cog, Grandad. Damn it. I had to break my flying fish for that. War always involves sacrifice. Your flying fish was a hero. One of our best. We will honor his memory. Now I have everything I need. It won't take long now. Prepare yourself for takeoff. Take off? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and gun in the background. That's what you meant by take off. Absolutely. I've aimed her at the town of the <laughs> yes, two months. Betsy 2 was, of course, designed to shoot grenades. But I'm confident that she'll get your capsule there, too. Confident? Get me out of here. Please, Grandad. Listen, my boy. <laughs> I'm proud of you. You're doing something very brave. Sure, Wilbur. I'd like you to have these. Your old aviator goggles. Oh, Grandad, I, I didn't think... Too slow, my boy! <laughs> Fire! Of <laughs> Good luck. So falling damage just isn't a thing in this game. Maybe. Or the <laughs> parachute is working. I mean, we have that for a reason. <laughs> we'll see if he uses it. Weekly. <laughs> he still hasn't told us, Mother. He will. Who else knows about it? The Archmage won't know about it yet. We were able to intercept the Servant, as you know. But... But? An elf, Mother. She tried to free MacGuffin. She might know something. She needs to be watched. Very well. And now, Mr. Professor, let us have a little chat. <laughs> <laughs>